Hey, in this video, we'll be doing a project over Java. And what we're basically doing with this project is that we're making a basic simple menu for a store that doesn't even, even exist. Alright, so let's pretend this manager asked us if we can make a program through the CMD so the users can go on it and buy things from the store. So, um... Uh, in this project, we'll be having three options in the CMD. Let's say we have option one. And option one will be uh, browse products so they can see what the store is selling and um, they could probably buy if they're interested in it. And once they're done with their uh, browsing, then there's option two that goes along with this program. And then option two will be the checkout where the user is done with their browsing and want to buy and leave the store. And then there will be option three. Option three will be the cancel option where the user said, uh, never mind, I don't want to buy anything. They choose option three to cancel. So let's get started with this project by including the libraries. So import we have to import the scanner, so let's do that. And import. We also have to import the decimal format because for the checkout we need to include some kind of like some rules so we so the customers won't see the extra digits after the decimal point. So it won't confuse the customers. decimal format all right for this one we have to use the try and catch because some customers like to be funny and they like to like break the rules like like this uh, prompt says enter one of three this user will be typing in E or some kind of letters and it will crash the program so let's include uh, try and catch and instead of using star from the last tutorial like this, we'll be using the IO of section. And the reason why we're not using the star, or yeah, star, is because that we don't need anything but one from the library. And it takes a space, and that's really not necessary. So instead, let's choose the IO exception. Alright, we're done with the, uh, the libraries for now. Let's name our class, which is store. We got the class on mistake. <laughs> Gotta be capitalized. Don't forget about that. All right, now let's make a main method. Public static void main. All right, we got our main method here. All right, we have to make another method for the menus. And the reasons why uh, we don't include the menus inside the main method is because the, like, if you're in a certain option, like you're in option one, for example, and you're done selecting your option, and you want to go back to your menu, but if you have your menus in here, then it can't go back to the menu because it go, it went down the list already and can't go back up so and that could be a problem so in order to rectify that problem like I said before we have to make a a method for that void let's do menu so let's do this And then we have to include the scanner object. So KB equals new scanner system dot in. All right, now we have. Now let's make a question for the user, like, or not, not a question, a prompt. It's like. 
please choose one of these options. And let's let the user know that you answer the prompt by answering by numbers one, like option one and three. All right, we got that. And then let's break it down. And let's add a plus sign for addition. All right, we're going to do a line break and this L backslash in. It's like this backslash in is like same thing with print li new line right here. But instead, it looks like in this syntax right here. The plus, a new line, may meaning like print line, basically. And the reason why we do that instead of the whole thing is because sometimes we're too lazy to write the whole thing over and over again. So instead, we just do this. And let's use another tab. Or not another tab, a tab. If you, don't, if you don't know what a tab is, a tab, yes, tab it over like you see your tab button on your keyboard. Well, same thing with the programming. It, does, it has the same function. And now let's add an option number one. It's browse product. Alright, we're done with this part. And then now we have another option. It'll be another new line, another tab. Option number two, check out. All right, we're done this one. So another line, new line for the last option, which is cancel. So whatever the user type in for number, It'll it will be correspond to the number they choose. Like if you choose one to go to here, two to go here, three to go here, etc. So we're done with the whole thing right here. You do you close it off the uh, parentheses and the semicolon, and now let's make a variable, and let's use byte for the smallest data type we can ever use and is necessary. So byte choice. So byte choice is equal to KB dot next byte. Alright, now we do like the if else statements. If CH is equal to one, we'll be making a method that goes yeah, we'll be making a method for the option one. So let's do uh, let's name it products, or yeah, pro. Our right, else if actually you don't really need the curly brace because it's only a single line. Else if ch is equal to 2 then it'll go to uh, another method which will be uh, to check and an else if let's do ch equals 3 I'm going to be going to class, or no, I won't go to last method. Instead of a method, just do system dot exit dot zero. I'm going to spell it. All right. With the if else, now we have to include a try and catch. All right, let's tab this over. Let's do try. catch we'll do exception remember from the last tutorial we did this 
if you haven't watched the last tutorial, then if you don't know try and catch, then you probably don't know what I'm doing. So I recommend you to stop and watch the try and catch video, which is the last video. All right, well, um, it's do it's like an else basically. So system dot print line. Let's do invalid input or yeah, invalid input. All right. Let's do another else if actually. Let's do uh else if uh yeah ch is uh less than 0 or ch is greater than 3 then we'll also say invalid input because we don't have an option that less than 0 or or is do equal to actually hold on Actually, I, did. I really don't remember how because I haven't been doing this for a while. I think this is right right here. All right, because we don't have option zero or an option less than zero. So yeah, like that. Actually, I think it's the other side. I think so. Let's do system dot out. Invalid input. And then let's make it to have a curly brace because we'll be needing multiple lines. Uh, let's do go back to the menu. And that's how you do it. Like, that's what I'm talking about. For Like, the reason why we don't include menu in here in the main method is because there's no way we can do this for the main method like this right here instead we can use this right here and it'll go back and repeat the process so that's why I didn't make the menu in this right here in the main method so let's close this let's also do the same for here menu alright well now let's make the methods let's do Void, uh, not here actually. Void, uh, pro, yeah, pro. And it'll be another one, void, uh, what else? Check. And then void. Oh, it's no, no other void. Okay, cool. Or met that I mean. And so, we got these three, or no, these two methods right here. So, let's see if we have any errors. I don't know if I do or not. I don't know. Let's find out. Error, yeah. It should be in this other side. Haven't, haven't been doing this for a while. So let's do this again. Alright, no errors. Nah, that's pretty good. Oh yeah, I forgot. You gotta have something here. Have your class name here. Store your variable f equals new store. Totally forgot about that. And then f, we have our methods too. We have to have a uh, F menu, and that's basically it. We don't have to include other methods because this methods right here are linked into this one right here, so it's not necessary to link these over here on this main method. So let's save this. Clear screen. Okay. Oh, forgot the tab. And see what the tabbing does? It tabs to the right side like this, and you see the options or the prompt over here. But let's see if it works though. If I type E, invalid input. 